folks, welcome to the final installment of Mega CD Monday. Wait, this is it? This is it. Uh, shit, I wish I put that in my announcement. Oh no. Well, the final Mega CD Monday. Oh, okay. We okay. still have a few Sega CD Mondays left over, but oh, okay. this will be the final time we see Mega CD exclusive releases here on this Monday show. We started so many, so many years ago. A part of our journey is coming to an end tonight, and the rest of our journey will come to an end probably by the end of this month, actually. We're making good progress. Oh man, March comes in like a lion and leaves with our Sega CD. Uh, real quick, I want to thank Tepid Snake for the 26 month resub. Tepid Snake says, get a cat to leave the CD tray and press the start button. <laughs> yes, yeah, thank you. Yeah, we started a little late today because Tess uh, decided to fall asleep in the middle of the bed and did not want to move. Yeah, she finally got up exactly one minute ago and left the room, so mm -hmm. we were we were free to start the stream. All right, thank you to, also to Apricot Ghost resub seven months in a row. Apricot Ghost says, "Oh boy, it's looks at the cue card. It's the Smurfs time." Yeah, aka Le Strumpfs, aka Le Smurfin. Yes, <laughs> Der Smurfinsteins. Der Smurfinsteins. <laughs> and thank you to Kate Libsy for the sixty-nine bits. Kate Libsy says, "Gonna miss Mega Sega CD monies." Me too. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Thank you all. Much appreciated. So, the Mega CD is the Japanese and European name of the Sega CD, and here we get a rare glimpse of the UK and European BIOS, which is actually different. Now, before the show, I was telling Alex it's, it's kind of weird. I wonder what they're saying by making the Earth visible in this one, whereas the Moon was more visible in ours. But we made a horrifying realization when we switched to the US version that it's actually the same shot, it's just colored better here on the UK BIOS. It's just really brown in the American version. The American one, it shows like a bombed out Earth that it is incapable of sustaining life. And here it's just like regular old Earth, same as it's always been. Nice and blue, very happy. I, I don't know what kind of messaging they were trying to send, but it's very disturbing. It makes you think. Uh, thank you to Inari Fox for the 18th month resub. Uh, Inari Fox says, Thank you for blessing my Mondays with Mega CD Mondays. You're welcome. Oh, well, thank you. I've enjoyed doing it. All right, so this is it. It's 1995, and three PAL exclusives have squeaked out just under the wire, uh, just before the system is fully canceled and Sega replaces it with the Saturn. Three, that's right, three ports of games from other platforms oh, <laughs> managed boy. to arrive in PAL territories where they remained exclusive, not released in the U.S. First up, we have the Smurfs. A.K.A. Der Smurfin, A.K.A. Les Strumpfs, A.K.A. Der Smurfinsteins, A.K.A. The Smurfos. If you look at the cover of this game, it seriously has four titles on the cover. They didn't release it in different regions. They were just like, look, there's four main people who are going to buy this game. English speakers, French speakers, German speakers, and uh, I guess the last one is uh, Spanish speakers. Mm -hmm. Just covering, covering their bases. So let's get this started. As we hover, hover above a fertile, fresh earth, capable of sustaining life, <laughs> unlike the Sega CD. Yeah, I don't think there's a cannon fodder port. I have seen that mentioned, though. You're right. Uh, Smurfos <laughs> is just a bad joke I'm making. There, I don't, I don't think the Smurfos are real. There is a, a Mega Drive port of cannon fodder, which was also PAL exclusive. Infogrom. Infogrom. This. And we get full screen animation, baby. <laughs> full screen presented at 50 frames per second. <laughs> oh no, these poor smurfs. Some animation magical looking cake. <laughs> oh no, it's the sticky cheesecake. I hate when that happens. Hey, Laugh Gray, what's up? We're Welcome. just watching some Smurfs. Uh, my TV doesn't have too many colors. It's gonna say, your TV fucking sucks. It's like one of those, like, th settings that your, like, parents... Oh my god, what is he doing to Smurfette? Also, no voices. Probably couldn't afford him. Wanna uh, turn it up on our end a little? Sure. Oh, oh wait, I think he's making Smurfette is the thing. Is he? Because uh, Smurfette is a uh, Gargamel creation. That's... He took a, a rib from Adam Smurf, and uh, then she ate a forbidden apple. 
this is so weird. I don't know, I haven't watched the Smurfs since the 80s. Yeah, Gargamel either wants to eat them or turn them into gold. It depends on how he's doing that day. This is common with a lot of Sega CD games. They'll have original footage of something else, but they won't include the vocal track. That's true of the Terminator, a couple other games that were based on movies. Uh, thank you to Teeter uh, for the 11th month resub. Uh, Teeter says Smurfette is a psyop. That's very true. Thank you. And thank you to Nervous for the 10 month resub. Nervous says, what is this vile smut? This smut is the Smurfs, only the most popular cartoon creation of the 80s. And thank you. Oh, it started without my input. God damn it. I guess we're playing Les Strompes. You gotta play Les Strompes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, wait. It just took me to the Smurfs. That was kind of weird. It defaulted to the uh, the French language at the language selection screen, and then it just said, you know what? Fuck it. You don't get to pick. You're, you you know English, right? We know. We, yeah, we'll figure this out. Now, this game's actually pretty difficult, so I'm gonna put this on easy. I think this is actually a game we've ranked before on Mascot Friday. This is just an upgraded version of that. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure it was the Master System version we ranked. Alright. Oh boy, here we go. Gotta do it. <clears throat> okay, now it's letting me pick. Should I go with Les Strompes? I guess for clarity we should go in English. We should, but I, I would love to be Les Strompes. For that a is, day. That is the canon version that people consider. <laughs> oh, to be a strong for a day. About the size of an apple. Can I please start the game? Ah, here we go. Uh, they died. They're in heaven. In Smurf heaven, everything is fine. Can we go to Smurf heaven? We're not Smurfs. Are you here sure? we are. I'm smurfing around in Smurf village. Yeah, and he smurf it up. And people are throwing their smurf filth water out the window on me. That's smurf is disgusting. Yeah, smurfs don't care. They're just like, throw your sewer water out in the streets. What could go wrong? This... Have I told you about the smurf plague? Anyway. I, was gonna, I was gonna say, this, this, this smurfs have so many diseases. Don't, oh, you can't jump on him. That's bullshit. I thought I had him. No, you just have to passively take everything thrown at you, as you is the Smurfs' way. You gotta pick up the magic herbs. I assume those are herbs. At least this has CD audio. That's yeah, nice. Ah, uh, this is the, uh... <laughs> the herb garden. The herb garden, yeah. Just till in the field. Gotta watch out for the dirt. Oh, they do it with snails. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, okay. <laughs> that snail really kicked your ass, buddy. He did. I just watched that happen. Oh, I watched my husband get killed by a snail. Yeah, Danny got smurfed. Hey, smurf you, buddy. Talking about the purge uh, for one day a year, smurfing is legal. <laughs> All the smurfing you can handle. Call it Smurf Mardi Gras. Smurfs excrete a toxin on their skin that is lethal even to other and even to other Smurfs. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably true. You can tell me anything about the Smurfs and I'd believe it. So far, all I know is that this seems to be a fragile little guy. I like the way that he looks at you like, huh, huh, don't fuck it up, don't fuck it up. Seems to be more of a thinking man's platformer, he can't just race through this. Mm -mm. Like a Sonic, or a Zero the Kamikaze Squirrel. No, you gotta go slow, this is an awesome possum. Okay, safe. Good. They say most Smurf accidents happen in Smurf Village. And I'd believe it. I was gonna say, I totally believe it. What's with that guy? Just some asshole thinking he needs to learn how to fly. Oh my god, I have a time limit. I should probably hurry. Go, 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 go. 
Ah, the timer's not counting down. I was gonna say, fast. it's going really yeah. slow. <laughs> time, is, time countdown slow, counts down slowly in Smurf's land. Okay, so if, if you bite a Smurf and you die, the Smurf is poisonous. But if a Smurf bites you and you die, then it's venomous, just so you know. Mmm. Words to live by. What do these stars do? I don't know. It seems they give you a minimal amount of points. Alright, we're talking about the Smurf virus here. Okay. So, there's a Smurf virus which causes a Smurf skin to turn black or purple, which is what they do in the U.S. because, yeah. Yeah. And it makes the Smurfs bite other Smurfs who then pass on the virus, so. Oh! I suddenly got the implication there. This is like a, a jinx kind of thing. Mm-hmm. I see, mm -hmm. I see. So, uh, yeah, watch out. I will watch out. Don't let a smurf bite you, you're fucked. Don't let a smurf become racist. <laughs> I'll do my best, Danny! Jesus. So it did count up the stars we got at the end of that level. I don't know what purpose it served. And we can stomp on things, just not our fellow smurfs. Okay, yeah, your fellow smurfs, they can't deal with you. Like, you have a run button, but if you use it, you're a fool, because this game is just full of shit that'll kill you. I will say, he's very nicely animated. They're very nicely animated. Yeah. And if you play on Mega CD, you get those cutscenes. Along with the, the CD audio soundtrack, of course. I think this could have fit over here in the States. Maybe we didn't give enough of a shit about the Smurfs at this point. Uh, we were done with the Smurfs. We were... Yeah, we, we were done with them. We threw them in the closet along with our Rubik's Cubes. Honestly, America was really sick of the Smurfs at that point. I don't think it would have done well at all. Yeah, I think by that time, the Smurf uh, Mountain ride at King's Dominion was also gone, too. Of course there was a ride. There totally was. There always is. <laughs> oh shit, the music's going hard. Watch out. I'm noticing a lack of sound effects in this game, have you noticed? They're there, they're just very quiet. Okay. Like, that was one. Just very, very quiet. I will say these environments are pretty fanciful. They all uh, perfectly suit the whole small thing in a big world aesthetic they got going. This game did get ported a bunch of places, so I can assume it was at least semi-popular. Yeah, this is the titular Smurf of the Smurfs. Yeah, this he is, is the, the Smurf. Smurf. Yeah. The rest are just like, you know, lazy Smurf, brainy Smurf. They're just like, you know... Shitty Smurf. Shitty Smurf. Yeah, they're knockoffs of this Smurf, who was the original... The original Smurf, the OS. Oh, that's that's bullshit. That's that's bull smurf. What you just did right there. That is total bull, bull smurf. I saw that coming a mile away too, and I totally fell for it. You know, you know how YouTube YouTube does an algorithm people who curse in their videos now, or that's the rumor. Uh huh. What if instead of cursing in uh, in any of all of our streams, I just call, said smurf? You bringing it back? I'm bringing it the smurf back. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna smurf off. It's okay to smurf and curse again, as long as you just say smurf. I was also telling Alex that uh, we should probably shift to being full-time smurf streamers, considering how popular they are around mm -hmm. the world. Yes, actually, that would be a great way to appeal to the European audience. Could get us that French audience I've been salivating over. Mm-hmm. Listen, if you live in France and you watch the Retro Pals, <laughs> let us know. We want your dollars. I don't know why. I mean, obviously. I just—I was just in it for the free French onion soup. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I want to—I want—I want French onion more on French onion soup. Yeah. This uh, is a trick. Okay. I got—I got, I got fooled got again. Again. It said I won't get fooled again, and then it happened. Why are we all talking about Hefty Smurf's tattoo? Does he have a tattoo? I guess he does. Well, even if they don't have dollars in France, they can pay us in euros, uh, soup. Again, we will take payment of French onion soup. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're doing good. Thank you. Just don't die. It's kind of a weird platformer. These these kinds of cartoony platformers, you want to cut loose and just run as fast as possible, but mm -hmm. not here in Smurf World. It's dangerous. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be patient in the, in the world of Smurfs. Hey, we did it. That's where patience gets you. It lets you survive another day. Um. 
The music is weirdly tense, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, uh, I really just, sets the stakes. I just saw Himbo Smurf, so I'm leaving. <laughs> Himbo Smurf. Um, all right, so we make a new Smurfs reboot in 2020. Who are all the new Smurfs? We got Himbo Smurf. Himbo's we got. Uh, um. We got Smurf who's really big into moisturizing. Coronavirus Smurf. Okay. okay. No. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna say no to that. Okay, fair enough. Influencer Smurf, Boomer Smurf, Fidget Smurf. There you Smurf. go. Um, Angel Smurf, yeah. Uh, gamer Smurf. Absolutely, we need a streamer oh, Smurf. Oh, gamer Smurf. We need we need a, a we need a Smurf who who YouTube's. It's called Smurf Tube. Or you Smurf. What do you think? <laughs> you, you Smurf is their porn site. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Zoomer Smurf, Chad Smurf. Hydration Smurf, the Smurf that annoyingly tells everyone to drink water. Vaporwave Smurf, uh... These are all such great ideas. We could totally make a new Smurf just from these. Okay, someone! Someone tell the Belgian... Peo or whichever Belgian still holds this... The right here to... I don't know what to do there! It's just a lake that I drown in. Maybe I have to go higher. Yeah, you Smurf X Smurf Smurf Hub. <laughs> well, at least we got this out of the way. The important part of the uh, the universe. <laughs> what porn sites they use? Oh, you can jump on the birds. All right. Lo-fi Smurf to chill and vibe too. Uh, Daddy Smurf was completely different from Papa Smurf. My God. Just uh, full of ideas. We need a Smurf who we need a Smurf who uses electric scooters to get around town. <laughs> it's about damn time. It is a Smurf we can relate to. Ah, uh, we got reusable bag Smurf. <laughs> Smurf who doesn't use plastic shopping bags. This is we're getting really atomized here with these identities. This is real. I don't- anyone know what to do here? I just get to a point where there's just endless lake, and all I have to do is drown myself. Drowning Smurf. Drowning Smurf. Buffalo Wild Smurf. I just- I just- I just actually just want to go to a Smurf-themed right. Fuck it! I'm- I'm looking this up. I'm gonna see if there's any Smurf-themed restaurants that still exist. Well, Garfield has a restaurant, so- Oh, the so surely. To, right? Landlord Smurf. That's the worst Smurf. I'm gonna try this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, thanks, bird friend. Dabbing Smurf, flossing Smurf, Fortnite Smurf. I don't think there's any continues in this Smurfin' game. Maybe if I switch it to the original French mode. <laughs> that, that Smurfin' sucks. Actually, there's passwords for this, huh? Alright, I'm going to Google Maps and I'm looking up the word Smurf. There are no results in Austin for Smurf? What a shock. Surely you just, let me just go to Europe here and look up the word Smurf. No, no, don't calibrate my compass, I want to find a Smurf. I want to find where the Smurfs live. Okay, I'm across the pond. Okay, there's a Smurf village in Dubai. There's a Smurf store in France, it looks like, and they just sell Smurfs, so... Oh, it's in Belgium, so we need to go to Belgium. Okay, I'm leaving the room. Alright, bye. Alright, so there's a level select, and what I want to do is drop a save state at the level select. Okay. Alright. Now, if you would, hit that reset. Okay. Soft or hard? <laughs> Soft. A literal question I really do. I know, that's a legit question. <laughs> so you have to hold C, then B, then A, then press start at the Infogram logo. Okay. <laughs> Soft Smurf, hard Smurf. Yeah, there you go. Sonic the Hedge Smurf. There's apparently a Smurf school called E. Cole Smurf. All right. I heard a yippee. Code entered. Give me that. Bro.
British Smurf. Liquid Smurf, Solid Smurf, Punished Smurf. Um, okay, same state shift and F city. Oh, I see. Okay. No, we're good. We're good. Hey, welcome, Uzi. We're talking Smurfs and all our favorite Smurfs for our modern Smurf reboot that's yeah, coming yeah. out next year. What Smurf do you want in our new Smurf reboot? You've already... <laughs> No, video game. Yeah, there's gonna be a moment in our new Smurf in our new Smurf franchise where one of the Smurfs has a heated Smurfing moment of Smurf. Welcome, Simon. We're struggling with the Smurfs. During gameplay, hold A and press start to access the level select prop. Well here it is. Okay, I see it's saying Capelo Village. Oh, oh, Pablo huh? Blade, Blade, Mine, Serpent, Serpent, Serpent. This this mode requires a six-button controller. <laughs> it's the X. You push the X button to cycle through the different levels. Wife Guy Smurf and Reply Guy Smurf are an in eternal battle with each other. Also, it scrolls through these levels at a million miles an hour, and you have no hope of ever picking the level you want. Yes, there will be a Smurf who's running for president. I see. Oh, this this level select is badly implemented. Well, whatever. Cool, you're going to the grass cave. The field! Ooh, vibe check Smurf. <laughs> whole damn, uh oh. This whole damn game is a vibe check. Obviously, there's going to be the TikTok Smurf. It was originally a Vine Smurf in our original script, but we had to change that. Yeah, he died. Holy shit. I mean, holy Smurf! Holy Smurf! Okay, we're at least back in the game. I do like that there's a level select code, so you can, in theory, see everything that's in this game. Alright, we got an origin of the word Smurf, and it's really stupid. Okay. Alright, the origin of the name Smurf, a Dutch, it's a Dutch translation of the French Stromp, which was the term Peo came up with during a meal with another Belgian comic artist, the Marsupilami guy, <laughs> because the Marsupilami guy couldn't remember the word for salt, so he's like, oh, you know, Stromf, and they're like, haha, that'd be a funny name for a creature. We have the Marsupilami guy to blame for this? Yes. Man, that sucks. But yes, there is a red, there is a red, we are going to be the retro Smurf, so... <laughs> You don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna go. We're gonna talk about that Smurfy feeling every Friday. <laughs> that Smurfy feeling. Oh, for. F this is stupid. Oh, where'd everything go? I hit the level select code, which made everything go berserk. How about we get to a background where we can actually see the level select? Listen, we we would love to Smurf a racetrack tepid snake, but it's it's. I don't know when we're gonna get the chance to. Oh man, I can barely see it. Yeah, it, it kind of when you when you enable the oh, code. Oh, it's in black. I see. Yeah, yeah, I see. Oh, that's terrible. And again, you can't really choose a level on purpose. You just kind of have to. There we go. <laughs> All right, here we are. You're in Cave Town. Watch out for the butterfly. Oh my God, these things are hurt by butterflies. <laughs> Do butterflies have a method of attack, like in the real world? I'm saying, is it even possible to be hurt by a butterfly? I would assume the only way you could get hurt by a butterfly is if you are somehow allergic to butterflies. Mm. I do not think they have any poison mechanisms or any sort of defense mechanisms other than being... Mothra does. Mothra's a moth. Oh, true. Now I'm actually curious, are there any butterflies who can, like, kill me? Oh, Jesus, watch oh out! Oh my god, it's our biggest enemy to date, a bunny rabbit. Watch out, Smurf. Alright, so, 
we got that thing over there, which got rid of the wall, which... Um... I got rid of the wall, though. So I have to use this, right? I... But it's not going anywhere. Hey, guess what time it is? <laughs> time what for is a it? new level. <laughs> this does not... Hello, Montagne! This is the worst menu control I've ever experienced in a game. I love the way that he just stands in the middle of nothing. Like, sure! Christ. Don't you mean Smurf? <laughs> Jesus Smurf! Jesus Smurf and Christ! Who, who do you think the Smurfs worship? The Smurf? Do the Smurfs even have a concept of worship in religion? We're all guilty of original Smurf! I'm those, I'm those nasty frogs. Finally, I killed something. Smurfs are godless. Papa Smurf is a god. He claims godhood. Oh, okay. Uh, well, you can only briefly grab onto those things and then you instantly slip off. You got swamped. Good, good gameplay. Oh, I see what's happening. All right. So there is a difference ever so slightly between the exit, the, uh, the color of the font, and the level. And every time you hit up or down, it changes it on every frame. I mean, again, there's no chance of picking the one you want. Wonderful. <laughs> Let's see, Church of Latter-day Smurfs, no gods, no Smurfs. Dragon. Let's fight a dragon. Oh, no! I, um, got, a, I got a present! Look at his face! Sitting here with my present for the dragon. <laughs> Aww, they're so ah. cute! Oh, I love... I like that dragon, though. That is a cool dragon. Okay, I'm actually dropping a save state here, because I want to figure out how to beat this guy. Now, if you were in this fight, how would you beat this dragon? I guess drop the present on his head? I, I guess? It feels like you're supposed to... Can you toss Oh, oh they're full of explosives. Oh. This is good. Imagine getting to this point and then losing all your lives and having to start over. You won't! He has too much momentum! It's fine. I wish you were a smurf mess. You can't really jump to the other platforms either. Yeah, what are you supposed to do? Yeah, let's smurf that dragon. Let's and of course, all about smurfing dragons. Of course, your your own thing hurts you. This looks infuriating. Yeah. And I just no don't know just, what to do. No button will drop it. You can drop it by doing that. All right, you can only drop it on solid floor, it looks like. It won't let you drop it on the dragon's head. Okay. I'm gonna try and drop it in front of the dragon's feet. Okay, good luck. Good luck with the dragon's feet. I'm gonna blow up his feet. In, in, uh, in uh, the UK, there's a place called Smurf Cleaning. I think they clean Smurfs there. <laughs> I think they just hire Smurfs to do their cleaning. How are you supposed to... Folks, I'm going to very quickly look up a long play, because I'm genuinely curious how you do this. Can you just jump over? I don't know. We can't jump over it. Yeah, the dragon seems to be instant death. Have to figure this out. All right, there's a store in Germany called the Big Smurf Shop for all Smurf collectors. 
Wait Let's a go. minute, this isn't even the last boss. What a twist. Let's see. Okay, so the way you beat this fight is to... Alright, it seems that part was preceded by an entire level where you have to carry a present. And then you get up to the dragon. Mm-hmm. Oh. Huh. Okay, let's try this. The other button throws the present. I knew you could- I assumed you could throw it! That does not help. <laughs> so... I've noticed that his fire, he always uh, sets fire to where, you, where you're uh, just going. But I can't go up to another platform. Once I go to the lowest one, I'm stuck there. The, uh, the long player got around this by damage boosting. Hmm, okay. Um, every time the Smurf dies, another Smurf replaces him. It's an infinite supply of Smurfs. Yeah, we have infinite Smurfs. Mm -hmm. For Smurfs' sake. Anyway, that's not the final boss. Okay. Let's go see what the final boss is. Alright. Then can we go to the Smurf Experience in France? <laughs> the Smurf Experience? <laughs> experience. What it's like to be a Smurf. Mm -hmm. Phone out this place. It's probably gonna be a place where I die. Sorry, uh, we can also go to the Smurf 2 cafeteria in Spain. Anyone know what Gargamel is in French? That's a good question. I assume Gargamel. Le Gargamel, uh, Paul, uh, just Gargamel, Le Gargamel. Damn it. <laughs> Maybe it's just not labeled right in the level select. This is where I was. Let's go to a random level, because I can't see what I'm doing. I'm looking to see what Gargamel's name is. You found Jokey Smurf! He will help you to find Brainy Smurf. <laughs> there he is. Don't forget the secret code! Everybody write that down. Okay. So Smurfette, uh, regular Smurf, Smurf washing dishes, and Papa Smurf. Please, Wikipedia, don't tell me about his conflict with the Smurfs and his relationships. I want to know Gargamel's name. Oh, we are different Smurfs. See, the Smurf with the present is Jokey Smurf. Mm, that's why he's doing that weird face. His idea of a joke is to put a bunch of bombs inside presents. I mean, that is pretty funny. Well, that's adorable. Alright, it looks like I cannot find another translation of the word Gargamel. I think that may just be the name, but... Okay. Well, the final boss isn't labeled then. That's wonderful. Yeah, Jokey Smurf is a... is... is a killer. I don't know what else to say. He's the... the Smurf... <laughs> this, this... <laughs> the smurf of bomber <laughs> God damn it! I was gonna call him the Unismurfer! Ah, uh, we were both thinking the same thing. Terrible minds think alike. The Barrage. Yeah, Jokey Smurf is gonna be one of those prank YouTubers who kills people, <laughs> eventually. And oh. yes, we do need a YouTube prank Smurf, absolutely. Barrage means damn. I'm learning French. Jokey Smurf is best portrayed by Jack Nickel Smurf. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just imagining a Smurf dressed up as like the movie Joker doing the Joker dance on some stairs in Brooklyn. He's really small. Oh, look at this! You can pick him up! 
Is there another Smurf movie in production? Hold on. They did make two of them, right? Yeah, I want to know if they make a new one, because if they do make a new one, they have to have one of the Smurfs do the Joker dance. I wish, I wish, I wish, that's one thing I wish we saw in the Sonic movie, was Sonic doing the Joker dance. It was a little... Production was a little too late for that. Mm -hmm. But in the sequel. We live in a Smurf society. Uh... <laughs> Alright, I'm starting to get my brain around this game. It's more of a puzzle platformer, because you can pick up these things and move them around. And of course the focus is more on solving puzzles and figuring out how to, out, how to traverse. Of course it's non-violent. It's Smurfs, for Smurfs' sake. You can't... You can't smurf it up with these little guys. Everyone will be offended. Eh, I don't like this level either. Ah, <laughs> uh, there was a smurf movie in 2017. Cool. Called Smurfs the Lost Village is coming. That means there's there's a chance of there being a 2020 smurf. Smurfs 2020! That's who I'm voting for. <laughs> this freaking level. You'll get it. Does Montagne mean mountain? I think so. Holy shit. I'm getting smarter by the second. You are! This is like Muzzy. Bonjour. <laughs> I found a, a sealed Muzzy for CDI today. Do I have your permission to buy it? Yeah. How much is it? 20 bucks. Oh yes, absolutely. Okay. You know, as long as it's below 30, it's usually fine. One of the rare games to be rated uh, early childhood here in the States. This is the same password. I'm just going around in Smurf circles. It's, Smurfles. It's a regular Smurfception. I have to stop playing this because I'm starting to annoy myself. <laughs> well, let me look up the important Wikipedia article, The Smurfs in Film. Got the Les Aventures de Strumps, Smurfs in the Magic Flute, the Smurfs, Smurfs 2, Smurfs in the Lost Village, the Smurfs of Christmas Carol, the Smurfs, the Legend of Smurfy Hollow. Serpent, eh? Let's get this Smurf eaten by a serpent. Whoa, cool Ooh, snake. That's a neat effect. This is cool. No, there's gotta be a Smurf movie production. Hmm. It has to be. People have not had enough of those CG animated Smurfs. Mm -mm. You know, it's funny in the set in the in the most recent one, they they didn't include the people at all. They just made an animated movie. There's like let's just do three animated movies. Good, that was it's a good choice. Humans. The Legend of Smurfy's Goal. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, this guy seems beatable. By other people who play this, not me. Okay, we'll look up Smurfs again. The, uh, I guess you don't get level select in a uh, boss fight. You gotta kill the boss. Smurf that. Okay, one more level select, and this will be our last time seeing the Smurfs. Danny. Uh huh. Smurfy Brown. <laughs> All right, that's it. Thank Shut you, it Lee down. Chog, uh, we're done with streaming forever, probably. <laughs> that is the best joke that's been told in this stream. What's there, a falaise? Let's find out. There is no Smurf movie in production right now. That's bullshit. America always needs to have some sort of Smurf movie in production. Yeah, what do we have to look forward to otherwise? Mm -hmm. That means Cliff. Do you think we could color the uh, Murphy emote blue and call him Smurphy? I, I've seen a couple of people referencing Smurphy. <laughs> they, yes, I want David Cage's The Smurfs on PS4. I want... It's time to get fed, you fucking birds. Oh my god, he got naked. <laughs> he got naked and took you down with him. <laughs> These Smurfs suck. Press X to smurf. <laughs> Alright, good. Alright, so the porcupine stays on, but not the smurf. I see how it is. F 
left fuck. Smurf you! <laughs> yeah, cake is a terrible weapon. Wow, have something delicious, friends. <laughs> yeah, that'll teach him. Yeah, I got, yeah, like, how did that cake that I gave you for our anniversary, how'd that kill you? Did it work? No. You're, yeah, I guess I'm stronger just, than ever. It, it just makes your enemies strong. I, also, I guess Danny's my enemy now. <laughs> Sorry. Eight years of enemy ship. Hey, I did it. There's more! And now there's more. Can we re-rank this one? Wherever we put it, it was too high. I don't know, I guess this has enough variety. It's just, uh... For 1995, this is a pretty crappy platformer. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Every this, time does, this does not meet the standards I expect from the Smurfs. Come to think of it, has there ever been a good Smurf game? There must be! The ColecoVision doesn't count. People would play anything back then. That's true. Alright, there you go, you smurfed it. <laughs> and then I fed the porcupines and died. <laughs> and that's where his brave story ends. The Smurfs, available for Mega Drive and Mega CD exclusively in Europe. Go buy it, won't you? Courtesy of Infogrom. Now it's time to get down to business. We're gonna play the game Alex wants to see. I'm already highlighting it because I, I I never get to play. I never get to see this shit. I want to see it. I want to see this. I want to see this. Show it to me. Our next game is Theme Park. Yay! Hooray! Theme... Put it on. Oh, I'm so excited. Finally, something for Alex. This is a famous bullfrog production from the mind of Peter Molyneux himself. The twisted mind of the Peter twi Molyneux. The twisted mind of Peter Molyneux. Okay, there you go. that down so we don't pull out our audience's eardrums. Unless that's what they want, in which case, you do you. You ever wanted to build your own theme park? Yes! Yes, I have! Well, you can do it here on your Mega CD. <laughs> I, I, I just realized I turned, in, I turned very attentive. Yeah, Alex is suddenly paying attention to the show. Oh, that's... <laughs> Ah. Good day to you. Please don't be afraid. I'm Papa, can I have some pixels? To a magical land. You first, lad. Ah. Friends can come too. Oh, he claimed the dog too. And mom and dad. Oh, I almost forgot. You too. And me? This sucks. I don't. I don't like that. This. Oh. Everyone, you have too few colors. Go. This is awful! This is the same intro that was on the PS1 and Saturn versions, though of course there was more color. I would assume there was more colors! It looks horrible here on Mega CD. It does not translate. Yeah, the Mega CD wants to play this video, and it's trying. Notice how it hitches every five seconds or yes. so. <laughs> oh, you think you've heard cold jams. Wait till we start the game. I don't know what that is. I don't want this theme park. Oh, I, I see. Back. It's supposed to have the planes on it. Well, now you got what you wanted. <laughs> this is what you wanted, right? Wow. This is this is this is what I've always wanted. Just... Burger place. I wish that we had stores in real life that were shaped like burgers. Me too. Something like Pebble Park. There is there is a lemonade stand in, in Austin that is shaped like a giant lemon, so but this is the domain, so I don't know what it's gonna be. I I'm confused too. I'm I am also confused. Okay, this is a nice looks like a arrow looper, very nice coaster model. Have you ever seen it in 64 colors or less? It looks terrible.
I got a I, like I, I like that it has like a brake run every five <laughs> yeah. seconds and they stop. Like, hold on. You having fun? Having fun? I will say, I'm pretty sure about this game. This has the most ports of any game ever. Like, I'm talking contemporary ports, not like ports made 20 years after the fact, like with Myst or Tetris. This this game has at least 13 different ports released within the space of two years. One was for Jaguar. One was for Mega CD. You got PlayStation, Saturn, 3DO, Super Nintendo, Mega Drive, of course Amiga, and all those other computer platforms. There was a whole, whole bunch of places where you could play Theme Park back in the day. This is one of them. <laughs> well, let's set up a new Theme Park. Yes. Let's go. Yes, what's it called, Danny? Um, it's called... Pals Land. Oh, what a good name! Oh, I bet it's gonna be great. I bet we're gonna have coasters and giant lemons everywhere, giant burgers, so I'm glad, many giant burgers. I'm glad the park visitors are set to happy instead of <laughs> destructive or murderous. That's... That would be pretty challenging. <laughs> okay, where are we setting up Pals Land? Well, it's free uh, to set it up in the UK, it looks like. Okay, it'll cost us $9 million to set up in Florida. Hey, let's not. Seven point five million to set up in Michigan. Mm -hmm. uh, ten, a cool ten million to be set up in the weird peninsula like that uh, Baja, California, California became. Yeah, we can set up in Alaska for four million. What the fuck's gonna fly to Alaska? Uh, man. I even... think the UK is the cheapest. Can we at least go to Australia? No. no? All right, UK people. This was made in the UK, so you get some favoritism here. Free theme parks for everyone who sets one up in the UK. All right, I like that. Okay, it's easy. Uh, pretty good local population to pull from. Rich economy. Mm-hmm. Well, Rainy. 1995. Who? No, no one. one. This is a theme park for no one. All let's right, buy those it. are my favorite. All right, time to build, Danny. Let's All right, let's build that theme park. Why don't you crank that audio down even more, because there's a problem with this audio. And turn it down for us, too. Okay. So whoever ripped this game is a dipshit, because they did it with fucking clone CD, that proprietary format that doesn't work with anything. Good, good. And the emulator freaks out, and this is the only rip of it available, so after every loop of this 30-second song, it plays two seconds of the next song. See? <laughs> drive me nuts. Don't use clone CD. What is wrong with you? Who even buys clone CD? So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're not gonna, we're not gonna close the park while it, we're building, right? We're just gonna keep. No, yeah, we're just okay. leaving it open. Okay, Actually, yeah, good. let's, let's open the gates. Uh, Ultimo mentions they may have a better rip, so, uh, oh, okay. contact us on this, contact oh. Danny on Discord. Well, let's set up a couple of booths here. Bouncy castle. Reliability bad. Good. I like to see that. Mm -hmm. And it, people vomit in it. That's good. Ride excitement poor. Mm -hmm. Merry go round. Ride excitement bad. Okay. Ghost house okay. Then again, that's very expensive. Yeah. Let's, just... let's set up a let's set up a nice bouncy castle. Oh man, kids. No one's ever no one's ever sued anyone over a bouncy castle. Mm -mm. Kids love to puke in those, so that's good. And we are gonna put it right up here. Right, 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 right. Shit, where'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> this is a PC ported game, so these controls are not gonna be hey, ideal. Yeah, you have to. Oh, I should have. Hang on. Yeah, there we go. You're obviously a shrewd businessman. Your ticket prices are just about right. Yep. <laughs> it costs ten bucks to go see our shitty bouncy castle that you'll break your leg in. I want to get back to the uh, the paths. There we go. Okay. So there has to be a path leading to the uh, ticket booth. Yeah. Otherwise nobody will be able to pay. Mm -hmm. How can they get on the ride if there's no ride for, if there's no path for them to walk on? Are these customers? Yeah! I'm gonna go on your bouncy castle. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a tip. They may need to pee at some point. Oh right. Yeah. And puke. God. So should probably put up food stands and shit too. I don't know what this is, but we're putting it in here. I think it's like coffee. Good. They're gonna need the energy. I should note I've never played this game before. Okay. 
I want to build more paths. Wait a minute. No, I'm doing good. You're doing good. You know, I've I've not actually played the original theme park, I don't think. I haven't either. We're due to for PlayStation Year One, mm -hmm. eventually. Oh man. You're gonna have to record me building a park, aren't you? Yeah. I'm gonna build a really great park and everyone's gonna be mad. Because they're gonna be like, this park, it's too fucking, too smurfing good. Build a path so people can go to the coffee place. Well, they can walk on the grass if they want. Connect rails from rides to paths. Yes, that's a cue. You yeah, have to Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. There you go. It's good. Uh, m maybe. You may wanna. There you go. That should be good. Alright. Hey, there's a person! What do you yeah. think of the park? You having fun? Oh, they're walking to the bouncy castle! Oh, man. It's gonna go to the bouncy castle. Yes! Yes, my first victim! <laughs> yes! <laughs> See? Look! Look how much fun he's having. Look at that. Are you are you starting? To <laughs> are you starting to figure out the charm of these games? You know, I think I am. I That's, really think I am. These games are they're fun when you do it the right way, but they're even more fun when you do it the wrong way. Also, you do not need to create a path to the uh, food place. You just need to put it closer to the what you call it. Okay. Man, you're you're full of good advice today. Only only because I played a lot of Roller Coaster Tycoon and Planet Coaster and other types of things but not theme park i don't know why okay i think i'm learning how the menu works this is pretty interesting they did make it semi-workable for consoles is there any place to poop where are the people <laughs> gonna poop well they can't poop but they can hook a duck let's hook a duck it's not that addictive but you know who needs addictive adductive thank you yeah, Planet Coaster is great. I was going to actually work on a coaster project this weekend, but I got too distracted with Second Life, but I want to... Yeah, one of the nice things, actually... <laughs> so I like these paths to know where you're making. What? Where is it supposed to... I guess you don't need a path for Hook a Duck, huh? No, you need to just put it on the, uh, whatchamacallit, on the, right next to the path itself so there's no gaps. People can just walk to it, I think. We need a, we need some basics here, like a food place, like a bathroom. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can hire clowns! We need clowns! We need a lot of clowns. Yes. You. You. You welcome to Clown Town. Yeah, Open Roller Coaster Tycoon exists, and it's pretty cool. Uh, also, happy birthday, K Price. They are 26 today. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday, world. We're building you a theme park. Yeah, uh, don't go to the theme park, though. Enthusiasm, you... question mark? Yeah, let's fill up the park with cops and clowns. <laughs> Who can tell the difference? <laughs> no, I, I was, I'm amazed that there aren't any toilets. <laughs> Tree fence, trees. There's a toilet shed. Toilet shed. Toilet shed. Bam. There we go. Yeah. We'll, put we'll those call it right toilet... next to the toilet row. <laughs> oh, everybody, they're hungry. Everybody, come down and see magnificent toilet row. Oh, they're hungry. All right, this guy wants a burger, so let's give them what they want. <laughs> yeah, cop. Oh man. Uh... <laughs> and Ari Fox is gonna be 26 on Saturday. Happy, happy pre-birthday to y'all. Damn, we got some youngins watching the show. Oh, Open ro Open Roller Coaster Tycoon has Open Roller Coaster Tycoon has multiplayer. Danny. Wow. Danny, we need to. We need to build a theme park together, and you're gonna hate it. Wait a minute, we're going to. Wait a minute, we have. <laughs> we have a. Uh, I just want to put it somewhere. There's good. Is it? Yeah, you can you can build the path. Uh, that oh, way. I can leave. I can make a path behind Toilet Row. Mm -hmm. The perfect thing to be smelling for an hour before you go on the takeouts. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna need to delete more path to do Toilet Row. Because no, no, that's not gonna that cue's not gonna work because it's not attached to the ticket booth. You need it to attach to the ticket booth. Oh. That's just the exit. Yeah, I see. So there you go. There we go. There! Yes, it's working! <laughs> this is gonna drop him off in the toilet row. Will it? I don't know, actually. I no, wonder. he's going on the he's going on the cups. He's okay. having a good time. Okay. 
Oh, this is a good theme park. Look at this. What Everyone's if, happy. I like that no one can go to Hook a Duck or whatchamacallit because that that uh Jimmy, he was in the way. This, this is my first day. Come on. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Still trying to figure out how to build a burger shop. I don't think there's any available right now. But there is ice cream. We can always build ice cream. No, yeah, there you go. Right on the path. Well, I'll not let you. There, there you go. go. Now people can get the ice cream. So what's your issue here? They here they go. They get ice cream. What what can't people get to? The hook a duck? Yeah, they can't get the hook a duck because it's not on the path. And that thing that you built next to it is a queue line that no one can get in because it goes to nowhere. So you need to you would need to move it closer to the thing. Same thing with the uh, coffee shop. It's I got gotcha. you. I'm learning. You're learning. What's weird is that a lot of theme park builder games all really work on either the roller coaster tycoon or I guess the theme park basis where a lot of it is kind of the same. You have to build the ticket booth and there you go. Yeah. Okay, now people can hook a duck. Yeah, and they yeah you need to remove that key. There you go. And then if you can move it, I would love or to just move build it. A path. Oh right, I can do that. Yeah. There you go. Oh my god. You're learning. You're learning how to. You're I want to. I want to change the name of the the city. I want it to be called Clowns and Cops Land. <laughs> also, this is not a city. It's just a theme park. It, it could be. A, listen, I don't know. I mean, cities, much like theme parks, are constructed realities we make out of brick and concrete. Yes, I'm reading Umberto Eco, and yes, <laughs> I am insufferable now. <laughs> You're just reading Umberto Eco to get better grip on uh, how theme parks are built. You laugh, but I am learning a lot about hyper-reality at the moment. I think we need... Oh, some mechanics might be useful. You might need a janitor to pick up the puke. Yeah, well. Fair enough. Oh, they all want coffee. There's a handyman and a mechanic? Yeah, the handyman is for the toilets, though. Mmm, like. okay. He tidies your park. One man for every toilet. Okay. That's, that's my edict. That's a lot of toilet men. I don't want no nasty toilets. People gotta have good toilets if they're gonna go into Te the ghost Tepid house. Tepid Snake. Tepid Snake mentions they live by a theme park with a lot of not licensed character statues. Tepid Snake, what theme park is this? I forgot to know. That sounds great. I, I love European theme parks. They're so wild. They could make our ticket prices higher. And the little people would be just as happy. Hmm, okay. Oops. Oh, no. They're stuck! They're stuck there forever. I'm gonna be hooking that duck for the rest of their life! <laughs> okay, there you go. You're, you're safe now. I just want a, um... What you call the, um... Yeah, one of these. So you can get to the, uh... There you go. I'm getting it. Is this... is this anything? Mm. What? No... what? Oh! Check We're better out. than Lord Belfry and J John Kennedy and Rhino Malhoon. Man, it must be Toilet Row. Everyone, mm -hmm. they can't get enough of Toilet Row. Click to sell your park! Southport Pleasureland! What a name! Oh, we got a mechanic going to the... Going to the ghost house, but he decided against it. Look at this theme park. Man, I'm so proud. You did a great job. We built this together. We, you, we you built did. this city on rock and roll. We built this city on puke and cops. How about we make it a little bit more possible to win Hook a Duck? Mm -hmm. We greatly increase the cost of the prize. See, this is the great thing about the game. You can adjust all kinds of things related to your various attractions. Like, there is of course Hook-A-Duck, but there's also... like, freaking um, this place. Yeah. No, Are I don't want- like... I don't want Hook-A-Duck. Okay, I see. You gotta click on... something else. There you go. I see. There you go. I yeah, gotcha. you're getting it. We need way more caffeine. A lot? A lot. Loads? Loads. Loads. Yes. These people are going to have to pee so bad. 
Well, we're ready for him. <laughs> we sure are. Toilet row. Where we make your dreams come true. Look at that. The ghost house works and everything. Yeah, people really, you're doing a great job. Thank you. You're a, you're a real theme parksman. What else can I build? I want to build all the attractions. Well, it looks like, oh, did you build the treehouse? I don't think I did. Let's do that. Okay. Fart. Stop farting. Look, it's my theme park. I'm going to fart all over it. There we go. Hell, you don't even need to move the thing. The... Really? Yeah, it's like... <laughs> Are they going to get out? It's behind the... Okay. No, I, yeah, I don't think you need to do a queue line there. I think they should be able to just walk right up to it, but we'll okay. see. Okay. Good. Yeah! I am going to... I heard about Indiana Beach. That's a wild one. Indiana Beach is a theme park uh, in Indiana. That just closed, and it's a shame because it's been around for almost a hundred years or so. Also, its mascot was a crow that said, uh, I think the tagline was, There's more than corn in Indiana! <laughs> Which, by the way, amazing tagline! Yeah. Well, now I know. How do you research? Oh, ooh, are there, there are other buttons you haven't pressed. Go down. Tell me which buttons okay, to press. Okay, so I don't know what that one does. What the hell are all these buttons? Yeah! Press them. Okay. Oh, cool. You can, you can, uh, you can move things around. Oh, look, see that button there? That lets you change the, uh, where the queue thing starts, too. I see. Man, this has been a very educational edition of Mega CD Monday. Yeah, now there's, yeah, there's no longer anything other than corn in Indiana. Oh, he, okay, Uzi, thank you for letting me know. Thank you for letting me know. Apparently, apparently, apparently the Indiana beach uh mascot was a crow who did a uh don adams voice mm, nice. my god my god perfect i'm actually kind of sad about indiana beach i, I kind of wanted to, i want to go to all the super old like over 100 year old theme parks in america but everyone come to pals land we've got a lake we've got toilet row we've got a coffee house want some burgers fuck you we don't have burgers <laughs> we we have ice cream and a whole lot of caffeine and a single occupancy treehouse <laughs> that is currently being being renovated. It looks like. Oh man, y'all live near Cedar Point. I've, oh, I want to go to Cedar Point, even though I don't really like roller. I, I like I like the concept of roller coasters. I do not like the concept of riding roller coasters. Okay, okay. Uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach still has the Pepsi Max big one, but they dropped the word Pepsi Max, and now it's just called the big one. Mm -hmm. However, it still has a Pepsi Max can you go through, so. I think we need more toilets. There we go. Now it's a real toilet row. <laughs> Thank you to Rondo of Dad, resubbed 19 months in a row. Rondo says, what the hell are all these buttons? Me every morning when I get to work. <laughs> yeah, same. Thank you. Oh, yeah, there are other theme parks in Indiana. They're actually probably bigger than Indiana Beach. There's uh, King's Island, and then there's Holiday World, which is in Santa Claus. Holiday World I want to take you to. Holiday World is a theme park themed to the holidays. There's a Thanksgiving World, including, like, a Thanksgiving-themed roller coaster. There's, like, a Easter World. There's, we gotta go. I want to go to the, the, the Thanksgiving themed area. I have to go or else I'll die. What is that? Uh, this is Balloon World. <laughs> Where you go to buy balloons. Oh, Kings Island is in Ohio. Whoops. All right. So these are going to be some expensive ass balloons. Why are these balloons so pro Oh, it's probably because they're bad for the environment, right? Yeah. Plus I got to make up uh, on return, you know. What can we adjust for Ghost House? Uh, I don't know. Can you make it scarier? Ah, okay. It's a, it's a. Mm, okay. Fair excitement. Oh, I want to adjust like how dangerous they are. How about the bouncy castle? Can we make it more extreme? No. You can reduce capacity. Ah, oh, it's breaking down. The oh my god. Dead. More sugar. Absolutely. Loads of sugar. Real expensive. Like, double the price. Oh my god, kids, get out of there! How did you make the bouncy castle smoke? 
What did you even do? Can you click on the entrance and see if that gives you a... Uh, on the en I mean on the entrance of uh, the theme park itself. Will that give you any options? <laughs> you can add a toilet shed! I'm pretty sure there's other options that let you research things and build new buildings, but that's kind of beyond me. Yeah. I'm surprised I got to this point. This is the furthest I've ever gotten in one of these games, and honestly... I feel a weird sense of pride looking at the, uh... At Toilet Row? <laughs> at the theme park I built. Hey, if your main worry about going to the theme park is worrying about a place to go poop, we got the place for you. Okay, one more thing to try to sell you on going to Holiday World with me. Uh-huh. Free soda. Okay, I'm in. Okay, we're in. I forget whether it was uh, Holiday World or another. There's a couple theme parks that do free soda. I know one of them stopped doing free soda. Oh my Kids god, the clouds die. are jumping. They are gonna die. The blood will be on my hands. Hey, the bouncy castle's smoking. You sure you should let kids on it? Yeah, yeah, I'm evil. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, all our funds are going to toilet toilet maintenance. And all everyone wants is burgers. I'm sick of this. Sick of this burger-centric society. Can't you just be happy with Hook a Duck? Back in my day. <laughs> I do like. Look at all the cops just hanging out by the toilets like they're looking for George Michael. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, speaking of which, we need more cops for no, sure. <laughs> There. <laughs> yes, leave that one dropped in nowhere. Welcome to Copland. Oh shit. <laughs> Danny does buy the best stuff. There we go. All right, so uh, let's see a cop on every toilet, toilet <laughs> police. Not just that though. We're gonna also hire a shit ton of clowns. Oh. <laughs> they're looking. They're trying to catch the clowns. A clown and a cop for every toilet. That's my campaign uh, promise. Oh, we will never forget the Six Flags Mr. Six, uh... Whoops, I, rec I replaced one of the toilets with a clown. <laughs> Just because that clown is on toilet road does not mean you should use it as a toilet, people. Danny, please don't... No! Oh. I, I gotta rebuild this. Where, oh was, my God. where was the toilet? Okay. Oh my God. Good, there we go. Everyone who was skipping... Mega CD Monday doesn't know what they're missing. They with really clown, don't. With Clown Cop Town. Look at them, they're all just standing in a row. I can't put down oh. I can't put down this toilet because there is a clown there and he can't move. You can't move. Alright, well people oh, have I'm different my mind. I love your theme park. Yeah, you want to go to this, right? Yes, I do. It'll be the next I traction go so park. Bad. Oh, this is like the new Austin's Parks and Pizza. <laughs> now let's put down a few trees, make it look nice. Now, I want to play until our next evaluation, which I assume is at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure we should still have the best park in the world. Or at least the park with the most toilets. Look at this, it's beautiful. See our daily cop parades down toilet row. <laughs> so they all arrest all the clowns in a delightful <laughs> daily routine. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, a trio of clowns has revolted. <laughs> Where are they going? Merry Christmas, everyone. Uh... What a better way to spend it than at Clowns and Cops theme park. Yeah! That's Number it! Number one! Number each, one, baby! It's shit John Kennedy and... No one else can even compete. What do they got, like a slip and slide at John F. Kennedy's uh, airport Fuck theme you, park? John F. Kennedy. Ain't got shit. Rhino Malhu. Okay, so we're the richest. We're the most... We're not the most satisfying. Richard Nixon is kicking our ass at a satisfying park. We are at last place in terms of satisfaction. But we've got the most amenities because of the toilets, I assume. And we are the most pleasant because of all the cops, I assume. <laughs> We spent all the money on advertising and cops, resulting in the most unsatisfying theme park in the entire world. I love how Richard Nixon is just like, oh, you gotta come to my park. <laughs> I would go to Richard. Richard Nixon's theme park is the Nixon Library, I assume. Dead, dead last in terms of satisfaction. That's what I like to see. Okay, we have less of a balance. 
We have uh, much more takings mm -hmm. and like a lot more expenses. It's all the toilets and the cops. I can't even sell this place. I, I know, know charity, charity begins at home, but this is silly. <laughs> and the little people would be just as happy. <clears throat> Let's theme. I got a question. I'm pretty sure theme park came before roller. I know theme park came before roller coaster tycoon. But is this is theme park the first uh, theme theme park building game? Could be. I know it was in development for many years. It was called Project X for a while, because Peter Molyneux didn't want anyone stealing his idea. But I think this is where we're going to call it. I am the most successful theme park developer in the world. You are. Not in terms of satisfaction. Mm -mm. Not in terms of, oh my god, there's so many people in line for the ghost house, because that's the only good thing in the park. No way! There's hook a duck and there's others. And a bouncy castle that'll start smoking if you bounce on it too much. <laughs> Don't worry, if that happens, you can just call one of 20 cops here on Toilet Row. None of them seem to be moving? That's a, Did I just glue them in place? <laughs> yes! The number one clown toilet park in the world, don't forget the cops. Oh yeah, the teacups are on fire now too, that's good. Well, well, that was fun. Thank you all for joining me at Pals Park. Uh, it was a smashing success. Look forward to a Pals Park opening in a neighborhood near you. Ooh, I can't wait. Moving on to another Bullfrog game, our next game is Syndicate, which is pretty much exactly this game in terms of tone and uh, gameplay, basically everything. It's pretty much just Theme Park Part 2. I didn't expect to have that much fun playing Theme Park. It's fun, isn't it? Like... It is. Just to, just to imagine this, not just as an abstraction, but just like what it would be in real life. Yeah, no, that's actually the most fun, is just <laughs> Just see miles and miles of toilets. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, start her up. The best, the best part about theme park games and theme park <laughs> sims is absolutely seeing how people interact with what, the wretched space that you've built. So speaking of games I don't know how to play, this one. Syndicate is a pretty well-loved game. It's, uh, people consider it one of the best of the time. And I'm sorry for what I'm about to do to it, because I don't know how to play it. I'll do what I can, though. Let's, yeah, people are like, you are not gonna figure this out. Yeah, this game is complex. This is like a squad-based tactical shooter, I think? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna replace SeaWorld. <laughs> This, I know that one of the Sea Worlds, the one in San Diego, has a Sesame Street Park, so. VR Cyber System. Westgate. Hell yeah. I love that mall. I'm getting, I'm, I'm liking this. This intro is in the cart version? How? That's amazing. Uh, what's up with my legs? I don't know. Getting them replaced. That's cool. Yeah, this hitching may be due to a PAL video conflict. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's trying to run it at 60 hertz, but it's supposed to be 50 hertz video. Uh, apparently the V-Sync is broken in BizHawk, so... You know, everyone talks up BizHawk like it's supposed to be this great emulator, and I've run tons of games that have just turned to shit on it. It couldn't run Dungeon Explorer. We had to do Fusion last week. Mm -hmm. It chokes on a bunch of other games. Maybe, maybe Bizhawk ain't the bee's knees after all. Ever think about that? Well, there's a giant hawk in a business suit outside our door uh, looking very angry at you. I mean, Bizhawk is the greatest emulator. There, saved. This is another port from the same people who brought you Theme Park. Bullfrog developed, ported by Domark. Dilmark has a uh, less than great reputation. That's that's good. Now let's get some action. And of course Acclaim had to stick their fingers in it too. Ew. You know how Acclaim is. I do. They love to stick their fingers into things. They're Robo mad. girls! Whoa! Hold on! Alright, we're stopping off at Robo Girls. Anyone want me to pick something up? 
Is there a Robo Boys or is it just girls? It's just Robo Girls. Damn it. <laughs> oh boy. Woo! That's a that's a lot of different things I can click on. What if I just kept hitting start? Would that work? <clears throat> okay, cyborgs cause destruction and traffic congestion. Not oh, in fuck my... them. Not in my watch. Millions will be late. All right, so this is a game where you control a squad. You have a mission, which I'm not sure what it is because I didn't read it. I know there's a way to switch control to all your squad members. How do you? How to do? Oh man, I'm adjusting individual attributes of these people. I do not... This is... Unfortunately, this is out of my wheelhouse. I only know complicated theme park sims. Now, if they let you make a roller coaster, let me know. And I can help you with some of the Immelman loops. I just want to be all the people. I know there's a way you can do... Oh, it's like a start, right? Can you, can you all... Yeah, there it is. Oh, okay. look at your little squad! Look at you go! You're going mm -hmm. to the mall! So You're this going... this is a very complex game, and as such, they've had to do all kinds of button commands and combinations in order to get it to work. Yeah, the, the bass is kind of booming here. Thank you. Like, in order to switch to squad mode, I had to hold, hold A and push start. <laughs> That's just the start of things. I think to shoot you do... Yeah, C. Take that, robot. Take that, guy. Now, the thing about this game is that you go around these populated areas. They're full of, like, people you shouldn't shoot. Good. Good point. J.B. Ronnie says, uh, I feel this might work better with the Jaguar's keypad of all things. Actually, yeah! You know? That might be one thing it's good for. Yeah, I love Gray. We're out on a night with the boys. <laughs> Just me and the boys out on town. Oh, I already used all my ammo. I can't shoot any people. Well, that's okay. That's why you're not supposed to go in a group, because... <laughs> they ran over Jim! It was his birthday! We were just taking him out for a night on the town! Oh my god, Danny! Jim! Oh no! Oh. Don't worry, we'll have a great night without you, buddy. Let's celebrate in your honor. There's no guns, because we fired them all off. It's okay, don't worry about it. We're gonna go in here. Uh, what what is this? You're in a building. Okay. Uh, there's dead. there's something happening. There's been an incident. I don't Use your imagination. Something's going on in here. Okay, one has escaped. Okay, one has survived. Oh, three, three went in, one came out. Oh, I see those robots just hunted us down. We were kind of easy pickings without guns. Oh, yeah! The robots that are causing the traffic jam. <laughs> I mean, I assume robots causing traffic jams would just be a Tesla. And so, Jim's birthday came to an end. Maybe let's actually look at the mission this time. Okay. Deactivate them, return their weapon really free, and let our enemies know. Okay. That we do not like traffic. Yeah. No traffic. We are anti-traffic. Oh, I'm sorry. His name was Joseph. Okay, Joseph. Joseph. I yeah. like that there's a guy named uh, Disquette. Disquette. That's me. I think people in the future will be named Disquette. Uh, this seems to be in order. Honestly, I'm amazed we haven't seen anybody named Disquette. We need that. In this world of ours, we need someone named Disquette. Now more than ever. Who wants to be named Disquette? Who's changing their name? Is it gonna have to be me? I'll do it. I'll do it. How to start video game. Okay, so it's gonna be, uh, we're gonna be Disquette and Disquette. The, the only married streaming team. <laughs> Oh, I see. Whoa. Wow! Oh, jo Joseph's, Joseph's cool. cool as shit. Show me this guy. Wow! Wait a minute. That's a little bit of nudity there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's Goku. I like this Goku. This 
This is kind of amazing. Okay, I want to switch to the other teammates. I don't need to just have one person. Fuck it, we're going in solo with Disquette. Alright, Disquette. Disquette, you're the hero of this story. Can you destroy the robots that have been causing traffic problems? I would have sent you in with a full squad, but I didn't know how. Alright, they're gonna be in the traffic, obviously. Again, I want to emphasize that this is a very well-regarded game, and it's supposed to be very good. We're just a couple of clowns making goofs with it. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Um, I wish I could figure out how to show a cutaway of what's inside here, but... There she goes. I don't have the manual for this game. This gets fast. I was gonna say, I saw some robots over there that were, like, around the dead man. Not that one, but... Are you just killing random pe people? No, I'm a really good shot. That's all it is. <coughs> Any witnesses? Did you see me kill that robot? No, that, that person saw nothing. They are like, I didn't see anything. I, I don't even have sight. Leave me alone. I'm just Okay, cool. good. Whoa, you could be in a car! Oh shit! Danny, run over some robots! Run you over bet your ass people. I'm gonna run over some robots. This game's cool. Get your revenge. Get oh, your you, revenge. You, it won't let you go on the sidewalks. Turn turn around. Turn turn. The controls aren't the best. Oh shit! That dude got run down. You killed him! You can apparently do drive-bys in this game, too. Damn. Yeah, I know you can set up bombs and blow up, like, a bunch of civilians and stuff. It's a pretty dark game. It's all in service of just accomplishing these shadowy missions without much regard for human life. The Peter Molyneux way, am I right? Oh. He's killed so many. When will he be arrested for his murders? There, I ran it over. I ran over my first robot. All right, one robot gone. Um, yeah, those guys look like they need to go. Okay. How to get out of car? Oh, that solves it. Uh, you died. <laughs> Disquette, you were brave. You commandeered a car, mm -hmm. and you had the most badass night that night out of anyone. You ran over a robot, you ran over some dudes, you really did your best. Thank you, Disquette. Thank One you enemy agent that. killed. Uh, two civilians, but three enforcers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's pretty good. We killed some people. I don't think I'm going to embarrass myself with this much longer. Okay. Sy Syndicate is a great game if you can get into it. Read the manual. Preferably play, play one of the PC versions and not the over-complex console versions. Do it. Why not? Apparently in the sequel to Syndicate, you can play as a corp operative or the crazy cyber church that has gone to war with the corporations. Oh, nice. That I sounds love amazing. crazy cyber church. Listen, you know how much I love cyber churches. That's all I talk about now. Let's right. move on to tonight's final game. Now, this is a game we've seen before, but I discovered that there's a level select code, and we may, in be we may in fact, be able to get to the end of this game. This is Time Cop, a game we played a beta for before. A beta 4 before. A beta 4 before. <laughs> but there was also a completed version that was never released, so let's go ahead and play that. Alright. I'm caught. Once again, this was on Super Nintendo. It actually was released there. And the music in this game is by David Cage. I wish it had music by John Cage. <laughs> it would just be silence. Sounds like an NFL theme. Sounds like a Van Halen cover band. Hey guy, what's happening here? And who are you anyway? I'm just a guard. Kleindust. <laughs> this guy's a badass. 
So we have played this before. We've made mention of all the different things, the David Cage music, the Super Nintendo port. This unreleased PAL version, much like the Super Nintendo version, has a level select code. So let's go ahead and do that. I like that con. Yeah. Let's save here too. Let's go ahead and start at the beginning. Alright. I support you, Danny. Oh, very cool. It's like the movie. Mm-hmm. These cutscenes are exclusive to this version, and they consist entirely of pans across uh, CG environments that were rendered for this game. Is this CG or a miniature? I don't know. Maybe we'll be able to tell after seeing a couple. I want to say this was a miniature just because of how good the shadows and everything look, but I don't know. It's too detailed for a miniature. No, they're miniature models. Oh, okay. I don't know what I'm talking about. All I know how to do is build theme parks full of toilets. Honestly, I like your toilet park a lot. Thank you. I'm glad someone did. I do like this song. Did you do this song too? Yeah. Get the on. FBI Get On It song. So the Super Nintendo one is noted for its extremely low color usage and limited frames of animation, both of which are much, much worse in this version. How? Because it's Mega CD. They have less memory to work with, and yet they made all these digitized sprites with tons of frames of animation. Get on it. Get on it. I do agree that the soundtrack is David Cage's best work. Why did he stop making music? Does he make music for his modern games? I don't think he does. He just directs. That's stupid. David Cage, make more music. I like it more. Yeah. He had a calling here. He really did. I would love to hear his take on Vaporwave. I just love how there's so many frames of animation for everything, but not a single frame for death animations. They just blink. I love the way you surf when you, uh... That's good, too. I'm glad they used the frames for that. You could run in this game, right? Everything just keeps exploding around you. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they took out the run in this version because that required too many frames. That was the one thing I wanted to show off, because he does this ridiculous Tom and Jerry style slide, and then he turns around. Uzi, are you serious? Did he really... Is he really credited David Cage with the opening theme of Detroit Become Human? He no. composed the theme to Detroit? Wow. He should be making techno! He should make more music about the FBI getting on it. Yes, actually. Robots. Get on it. <laughs> I'm just saying, I would have loved a more vocal theme for Detroit. And I would have loved just that vocal thing, not much more. Wow, this is jank. I spent a, spent a while playing the Super Nintendo version just to have some point of comparison, but this plays slower, has way fewer frames of animation, seems to take away certain moves that you had in the Super Nintendo one, just uh, due to RAM concerns, I guess. There we go, there's level one. <laughs> Hello, FBI. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I'm here to get on it. <laughs> Thank you. I love my wife. I love my wife. I love my cyborg. We should play Detroit someday. We have! I've played I mean, I mean on stream. Okay. You've, you've beaten it. So have you. You got the absolute worst ending possible. I was kind of impressed. It was... No, it wasn't. It wasn't... Okay, me. no, you didn't get that ending, but no, still. I got a pretty bad one, though. Those robots are real sad. I think everyone in this in our house has played uh, Detroit, except for the cats. In this house, we played Detroit. That's sad. All right, so we've seen the first couple levels, but through the power of level select, uh, we're Detroit see some more. is a mascot platformer, and the mascots are robots who like to hover around uh, oil cans, <laughs> burning oil drums. Ooh, I like this. I like this. Okay, so the jump kick, if you hit him in the head, seems to be a one-hit kill. Your bullets, it takes a lot of bullets, and it takes a lot of punches. 
Uh, the reason we haven't played Knack on um, Mascot Friday is because obviously he'd slay the competition. Yeah, he'd be number one, no question. Mm -hmm. It's not fair to anyone else. Alex and I have actually played through Knack in its entirety in co-op. Mm -hmm. We still need to do Knack 2. Wow. Knack 2. Knack is back! The big boy. <laughs> Did I ever tell that story on stream? Did I ever have a wow. chance to? <laughs> no. Maybe. My yeah. last commercial purchase, I made at Fry's Electronics. Uh, they have a guy at the door who makes sure you're not stealing stuff. They look in your bags. And anyway, I bought a copy of Knack 2 because it was on sale for 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. And the guy checked my receipt, looked in the bag. He said, ah, Knack 2, the big boy. <laughs> and I said, yep, see ya. <laughs> So from now on, I can only think of Knack 2, the big boy. Oh <laughs> as far as I'm gosh. concerned, that's the subtitle. <laughs> oh man, did you hear that the fries in Anaheim closed? Yeah, that's not surprising. I'm s it's More of them should be closing, honestly. When is the I, I don't want the one near us to close, but it's gonna happen. It's dead on its feet. It's not gonna come back. I want... Are they gonna have a final day so I could give, give my goodbyes to the cafe? That I hated. <laughs> I didn't hate it, but... It was, yeah, it was just a thing. So surprised. But I want to say goodbye! That's bullshit, game! That is total bullshit! You should skip the next level just because, yeah, here you go. Unbelievable. Believe the gall of this game. Shh, this is our favorite model. Yeah, this is definitely a model. Look at that. Yeah. CG couldn't do this shit back then. I guess they just uh, photographed it and scanned it in then, huh? Mm-hmm. Looks nice. It's actually really nice. Yeah, they shouldn't have gone through the effort for this game. Yeah, why did they do so much work? These shots are gorgeous, but it's absolutely unnecessary. I wish Detroit had models like that. I do too. Oh, and look what it turned into in this game. A big, brown, soupy mess. Mm. You can't even tell all the de the delicate shadow work you saw in that oh. FMV. Well, he's he's French, right? Yeah. So this is just French onion soup. Good point. It's what he knows. It's just brown soup. He knows how to make soup and uh, techno beats mm -hmm. about the FBI. FBI! One thing I've noticed about this game is that there's so many cheap hits you take, but the game makes up for it by making every enemy drop health, or almost every enemy. So getting through the game can be considered RNG, like if the game decides to give you enough health drops for all the health it steals from you. It's a good game. If, you, uh, if you're interested, I recommend walk watching speedruns by OmniGamer, who is a professor of time copology. Oh, there's some red back there. Look, hey, red. Hey. Time Cops launch site. Warning, dangerous area. I don't know where his health meter is. I don't either. There is one in the Super Nintendo one. Did they just run out of room? Maybe. Maybe if you pause? No? No. This is not a good game. It's even worse than the Super Nintendo one, and they were probably right to cancel it. But I am okay. glad that this prototype surfaced. I... I Dead. can't see it. Oh, I see it now! How are you supposed to fucking... Oh, I do see it! Yeah, it's little, a it's little you blue can bar. You barely see it! Oh my god! Kate! That's awesome! I didn't even notice it at all. <laughs> Meanwhile, at a different level... I'm so glad we can show off more of this game. Because actually playing it is a real pain in the ass. This is cool, I'm sorry. I they, love... They've rigged up little jets of steam! These miniatures are so cool! Dude! Do you think they put, like, uh, baking soda in the back of that to make it actually... Yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
That's right, this game has underwater levels, because if the gameplay wasn't slow enough, now it's even slower. It does have a nice little wavy effect while you fight octopuses. Digitized octopuses. Mm -hmm. Who explode. See, this is why I'm glad we got to show off more of this game. Because there is more than meets the eye when it comes to Time Cop. Just that walking in air animation. Yes! <laughs> That's so cheap. Oh god, I love him. And it's exactly like that on the Super Nintendo one. I try to make it sound like this is an inferior port, but it's not that inferior. Sorry, the fucking guitar rock. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah, I like that the miniatures are in front of your character sprite instead of behind them. Yeah, that's cool. I like not being able to see. Oh, that's the best part about video games. How's my life looking? Um, you're at the... Uh, the bar is at the O where the we see R, so mm, you're okay. okay. And those, those squids are just poking at you. Yeah. Is that an octopus? I can't tell. I think it's an octopus. Whatever they are, these cephalopods are going hog wild. Oh, oh my I god, exploded. you blew up! Okay, this I... is very Batman Forever. I think that might have been the template they were working from. They just saw what Acclaim was doing for Batman Forever. They saw they had a major license with Time Cop and they ran with it. Uh, we're being asked to see the game over if we can, because it's apparently amazing. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just watching you die. Just getting quickly killed by squids. Oh, jeez. You've got a bullet in your face. Now, see, if you were thinking of the Super Nintendo game over screen, I can see that, but they actually did make a different one. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. I'll also tell you that the ending is different, but you're going to see that for yourself in a few minutes. Where are we at? Stage 5? Ah, we've reached the oh, ocean that floor. so cool! Look, this is so well done! I love this! I want to watch this movie, but I know it's not done. I know the, they're like, oh, do you want to watch Time I'm like, no, I want to watch The Time Cop movie Miniatures this. movie that doesn't <laughs> exist. Yeah, this is a nice aquarium. They just dipped a camera in there, mm -hmm. made it loop the footage a la speed. I just... I want to see... This is the game I want. I want, I want the slow miniatures game. A million miles under the sea. Uh, thank you, Tepid Snake, for the 250 bits. Tepid Snake says, This is for Time Cop's Hospital. Billy clearly <laughs> needs it. Also, I massively enjoy these Monday streams, so I'll definitely be around for the final few weeks. <laughs> nice, thanks. I think we're still going to be streaming on Mondays after this. We just, uh... we, we got to figure out what to do yeah. once we run out of Sega CD games. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, for as comical as this looks, believe it or not, the Super Nintendo ship is way bigger. It takes up almost the entire screen on Super Nintendo. It's like, seriously comical. Here it looks reasonably sized compared to the Super Nintendo one. Man, they really did all this work porting it. All the contents here. Oh yeah, it'll return if we ever discover more unreleased games. Oh, for sure. And there's a bunch of them, so... Might be pretty soon. Everyone give me your unreleased Sega CD prototypes. Yeah, everybody, uh, release them if you got them. I will showcase them. Mm -hmm. if, you're a Las Vegas, if you're a Las Vegas magician who has an unreleased Sega CD game, uh, you're not the only one, but give it to us. There's some, like, Z-list magician who made his, like, own ROM hack. He's just like, I'm there! It's like a Siegfried and Roy <laughs> Sega CD game. Okay, but I would not I would not doubt that they would make a, a Siegfried and Roy game during that period of 
massive popularity they had in the 90s. Oh, for sure. They had their own cartoon. The magic is back. Oh my god. Was their catchphrase. You're right, it was. Oh yeah, we god. watched that. Did we? Oh my god, I blocked it out of my brain. Good. Oh. Anyway, welcome to 1920. I love this. These, these miniatures are really well done. Yeah, you can make out the lettering and everything. Look at how good these look. I would... I want to hang out in these spaces. <laughs> this is a tragic amount of work for this game. These construct... Oh my god, so much effort. So we're getting to the best level. Hey, who's shooting you? Oh, the gangsters. 1920s gangsters, that's right. Oh yeah, because you're a cop in time, aren't you? Mm -hmm. I'm just hitching a ride. Oh yeah, there was also the Siegfried and Roy uh, CGI series about their lions called Father of the Pride. Oh yeah, don't look at the ground. Oh Jesus, I looked at the ground. Don't. <laughs> look at all the frames of animation of that dude shooting the gun in the car. He's wait, the star of the show. Wait, does Toho take place in the in the 1920s? With gangsters? Did Time Cop invent Toho? Listen, I didn't if, if I knew that Toho had gangsters, I may I I, I, I I may have checked it out before. Yes, there is a cartoon in addition to Father of the Pride for uh Siegfried and Roy. It's called like the Magic Begin, I'm pretty sure it's straight to video. It was really bad. Apparently, I don't remember it, but Danny does it. It oh, sucks. I remember, I remember it. the Super Babies movies. We had to get it on VHS because they never re released it, and nobody yeah. ever ripped it. <laughs> uh, good times. Where are we at? Stage seven? How do I remember just all of Super Babies, but not a. Because we've seen Super Babies multiple times, oh, that's, that's why. True. That's true. Newsstand. Soda and ice cream on sale here. Newspapers, magazines, and books. What books do you think they sell? Lowest prices at the drugstore. Mm. Anyway, if you know how to speedrun this game, this is the strat. There's apparently some safety measures you can take to uh, ride the, the truck through the whole level. That was a good strat while it worked. Yeah. I like this kind of down-tempo jazz. David Cage does here. This is great. Bye. Bye. This is a shitty version of El Viento. <laughs> this is a stage in El Viento. Or uh, Ernest Evans, I think, is the one with the stage. Ah! Stage eight. What else are we going to do in the past? Well, I saw Baby Geniuses many times as an adult, so I was old and stupid when I saw it. <laughs> I would just always bring it out whenever there was a party happening and someone needed something to watch. I was very good at killing parties. Oh, you're right. It's also the first stage in El Viento. Yeah, there's yeah. that part with the cars. See, in the Super Nintendo one, you get all these interstitials with text explaining what's going on. Uh, Kleindost is the guy who went back in time to try and buy shares in Apple and other companies and get rich. This is Time Cop for the Sega CD. Pal Mega CD. Pal Mega CD, sorry. It's wow. also available on Super Nintendo if you want to play a better version of this. This just... They did not put as much effort to this background. <laughs> no, they did not. This is some... This is some... They looked at the model and they were like, ah, we're good, we'll just draw this. By the way, if you've never been to a bank in America, uh, they're all like this. You start on the roof, and you just descend. <laughs> this does look like Rocky and Bullwinkle. God! Oh, yeah. Kind of uncanny. I'd go to more banks if they had this music playing. You know, my credit union, you should you should you should check it out. They don't have this, but they do have a lo-fi beats to chill and deposit to. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god! It's Al Capone's mech! Ah <laughs> oh, shit! It's the night Chicago time! 
Oh, you went to the wrong time! I think I have strats. Okay. Jump over here, bot. There we go! Deposit accepted. There we go. I need a badass Look home. at this miniature! This is so good! I like this wide-angle shot. This is gorgeous! And now um, you're in the piss swamp! Okay, so it doesn't tell you where you are, but you're actually in 1940s Germany, or as uh, the Super Nintendo one calls it, German. Ooh, German. Like, like, they're all like Australia, North America, and then this stage is just German. Yeah, chat's like, welcome to German! Mm -hmm. ah, I see we have some Time Cop fans here. I figure uh, the, the Cuso Grande crew would be familiar with this game. Well... It's a good one. That was a bomb I used. Good job. Ow! <laughs> the way that mortar just fucking just shelled right in the face. In this <laughs> I'm just grooving. Man, you are. You are. Time cops just out here in the piss swamp vibing. Was that one of those U boats that I heard so much about? <laughs> one of the famous U boats. Mm-hmm. Maybe I should pick up uh, speedrun in this game. You want to be a? <laughs> That's a big tank. Come back here, you. I'll kick the shit out of you. What can you kick on this tank? I don't know. <laughs> ah, fuck it. Yeah, just outrun it. <laughs> Ninja Warrior's tank back for revenge. Oh There's God. no guy who pops out of it. What do I shoot? Where's my shuriken? Can I just shoot the... No. What are you... This is my tank now. You gotta tank everybody. This is how I get my exercise in. Smart. You gotta stay in shape if you're a time cop. That's true, you do. Because you're all... Because <laughs> you know they don't have... They don't have Gold's Gym back in 1800s or whatever. Mm-mm. Back then, the world was your gym. Oh, that's awful. Imagine doing parkour in the Victorian era. You're just running on the rooftops, going crazy, and then just someone just... Wait, you get a work? whole thing of shit just thrown at you onto the street. I'm gonna see if this works. Okay. He's gonna shoot the tank? It's gotta work, right? It did. It Holy did. Shit. I shot the tank to death. Nice. Brain Blast! Kleindost rules. That's right, uh, Kleindost also invents a super drug called Brain Blast, which turns everyone into punks. Why does everyone have the best- why did they always have great names for drugs back then? Hell, I'd use Brain Blast. Fuck, brain... That just sounds fun. Yeah, they always sound fun! Man, just remembering all the shit from the game just makes me want to watch the movie even more, but I'm sure it's gonna be a lit down. There's no way I can live up to everything that's in these games. Yeah, that is why Jimmy Neutron is so smart, Scarf to Smith. <laughs> All that brain blast. Klein Dust rules. I like how everyone's like, I love this guy who invented my favorite drug. Yeah. Boy, life sucked before brain blast. This game really goes places. I'm glad we got to see more of it. And I think we're nearing the end, actually. Those punks will headbutt you. They don't even care. Ew. It hurts even more because they're mohawks. Hey. See, I can beat some of these levels. Aw, tiny chair. Look at that miniature chair and that miniature vault. This is so good. 
I bet they melted this down for scrap, like, almost instantly. They probably did. You know all those uh, Fleischer animated cartoons with those beautiful, like, backdrops and, like, those rotating scenes and things like that? Mm -hmm. They, like, they did that for Popeye and shit. They destroyed all of that. Ugh. Yeah. It's a crime. Mm-hmm. It was, like, the 40s and 30s. They're like, we're never going to need this again. We're not going to make this cartoon again. We'll just build a new one. And there you go. Animation's disposable, see? <laughs> we gotta get this to Al Capone. <laughs> <laughs> Al Capone is famous for famous for his love of Fleischer cartoons. Actually, now I'm curious. Did Al Capone like cartoons? I know he liked sex, but I don't know if he liked cartoons. <laughs> Died of syphilis, man. <laughs> Such a shame. He didn't come to the modern era. <laughs> So, so much cartoon porn he would have enjoyed. <laughs> He'd have been like, this is a revolution of pornography. He would have had the tattoo of Bugs Bunny spanking Lola Bunny. Yeah, exactly. All the way across his chest. Aw. Uh, poor one out and for poor he... Al Capone, who, who died before the cartoon porn revolution. <laughs> they were two Warner Bibles back then, so he probably... Okay. So he probably he probably saw those. He didn't suffer too badly then. Yes, yes, thank you, Pear. Uh, yes, no, we, we have heard of... Like, he probably looked at that one Popeye one and it was just like, Oh, that's great stuff. <laughs> now this is art. That's what he would say. Mm -hmm. oh, I've been seeing this one too. Where are we at? Stage 0B? Yeah, ban Al Capone. Yeah, ban Al Capone. Don't ban me. Don't ban Danny. Danny's good. Danny's normal. He's normal. Man, that Popeye Robin Williams movie. You know, I haven't seen that in... It will break your brain. You'll be convinced that it's not real. It's not horrible. Is that what makes it seem unreal? Is that it's just really weird? Yeah, it's just strange. Like, that could have been made at any point in time. Oh, good. Okay, Popeye's on Netflix. Yeah, I wish David Cage stuck to music. I mean, apparently he did music for Detroit, but I wish that's all he did for it. Yeah. So he sure as shit can't write. <laughs> Danger, do not step on the conveyor belt. Up yours! I'm stepping all over it. Oh, look at all that exercise. That is so much strength. This is... This should be the real, uh, CrossFit, you know? It's just a bunch mm -hmm. of conveyor belts you have to run on. Time fit. That's what they would call it. Oh, he's got the Konami Orchestra hits in there, too. Okay, I know that Popeye has a ride here and there at different theme parks. I do not know there was an entire Popeye theme park. I, I know that, like, the MGM Grand Resort had a Popeye ride, and I know that... There's a Popeye ride at Islands of Adventure, I think. I think. I don't know. Fuck it, we're going down. Some extremely limited use of color in this level. Like, it seems like they get fewer and fewer colors to work with as the game goes on. Oh, I heard about that! Yeah, yeah, yeah! As in, um, after the Popeye movie, they turned the sets of the movie into a resort village. And it's kind of like a Popeye Resort Village. Yeah, I heard about that. I heard about that. Huh. Oh, forget what I said about limited color usage. <laughs> this looks amazing. Oh my god. Gotta save all the colors for Time Cop. Well, we need to go to the Popeye Village, I've decided. Okay. So we need to go to Popeye Village. We need to go to Holiday World. Just... Right. Just, just, just in, in general. And, um, yeah, we just, let's do this, let's... We have to go to the land of cops and toilets. Yes, we have to make the, we have to make Clown Cop Toilet Land real. <laughs> wow, what a great name. Clown Cop Toilet Land. I'm booking my trip right now. Stay at the Clown Cop Toilet Land Hotel. You know... It could work, you know, maybe maybe if we ever get high-speed high speed trains in America, we could build a theme park on one of the high-speed train rails, and people could go and stop and go to Clown Cop Toilet Land. Mm -hmm. 
This rolls off the tongue. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I've seen proposals for high-speed trains between Austin, San Antonio, and Houston. Oh. Could you imagine? And you know what? Austin is a... We are a fast, fast-growing city. And We're a city on the grow. We are. We really are. Oh, but boss time. We don't have any really good theme parks. Like, oh, we can go to Seguin for, like, what, ZDTs and Austin Parks and Pizza and maybe go all the way to San Antonio. But what about in the city proper? We're getting a stadium, but no theme park? Well, Retro Pals, Mayor Adler, we have your answer. It's called Clown Cop Toilet Land. <laughs> And it is going to revolutionize the way we do themed entertainment here in Austin. This is one of the few bosses in the game. This is how you fight him. Listen, I've only been to... I have not been to Six Flags Over Texas or Six Flags San Antonio. A, they're both too far from Austin, especially because I can't drive. And B, they do not have enough clowns or cops for me. Oh, that was a good hit. They have a lot of toilets. Mm. This is the big damage hit I'm giving him. That. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Ugh. There he is. Oh, he exploded. <laughs> That's the boss. <laughs> oh no, his time machine, I guess. I don't know what that is. It's nice, I guess. I gotta say, the loss of <laughs> explanatory text, explaining backstory and locations, it's its an acceptable loss for getting these scenes. These scenes are really cool looking. Probably the best part of the game. Is it a drill? It kind of looks like one. Oh, look at that block spinning. Whee! <laughs> oh, cryo in the background. I like that. Oops. Well, rip time cop. Okay, anyone happen to know the glitch in this level? I recall something like you can warp from the bottom to the top? That sounds familiar, right? Oh. oh. You should be able to ride something to the top, like... Yeah, but there's a glitch. Mm. A good one. Ah, whatever. Yeah, it doesn't look like anyone in chat knows. Uh, they're asking if it, it may have only been in the SNES version. That could also be the, the case. It probably wouldn't even work if I knew how to do it. I hate construction sites. With their nails on the floor. I was gonna say, spinning that's, girders. that's very dangerous. Time Cop deserves better than this. Yeah, I'll remember it after the stream. <laughs> Next level. Alright. We're at like 1D, I think? No, we've seen no, we saw that. That's like two levels behind. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, see you, Gizmo. Yeah, thanks for watching Time Cop. Tiniest cop who ever copped. Ooh, pretty. Did I skip too far ahead? E maybe? No, okay, no, we're, we're exactly in the right spot. You're right where you needed to be. Oh, in fact, this is the last level, so get ready for this. Here we go. So we've cornered Kleindost. We took him back to our time, where everything is cool. Mm -hmm. He no longer has control over the banks. We took away his stock in Apple, and Brain Blast is no more. So the only appropriate thing to do is to fight him using a jetpack. I mean, sure. Did he really have control of the banks? Yeah. Oh my god. How did he do that? By going back in the past. Well, that doesn't... You can't just go back in the past and be like, one bank, please. Well... Maybe you can. Fair enough. Yeah, if you approach him slowly, you should be able to corner him. Look at him go. He's having a great time up there. Yes, he's, he's having a blast. A brain blast. <laughs> to get him at just the right angle. 
It looks like he just had to get his feet, right? Yeah. Oh, that's awful. Just always remain below him, apparently. Nice, nice, nice! Got him! Game yes, over. Yes, he's we did dead! It. And is the Super Nintendo ending in this game? Wait a minute, did I just die? N nope, you didn't die. It, it was like a it's... double kill. To answer your question, no. The great ending in the Super Nintendo version is replaced with this. Whoa! For those who haven't seen the Super Nintendo ending, I literally recommend looking it up. It'll be the best thing you see today. I'm not even going to spoil it by describing it. But suffice to say, this is a poor replacement. <laughs> I do like the music here. He is very wiggly, and it does use that jazz music. Main graphist. Graphist? I want to be a graphist. Me too. Additional graphists. <laughs> Sega Stein? Oh, Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is great. I actually really like this. Cage, mm -hmm. I wish you stuck with this. Musics and sounds. Yeah, David De Grotola is uh, David Cage's name. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. This is the this is the punishment that Klein Doss deserves. Just infinite wavy. Just being wiggly for all eternity. Oh man. Infinite wiggle. Yeah, okay, I'm glad you saw that, Uzi. It's it's the only reason to play through the game and they got rid of it. Wait, well. is it repeating? From Totem Factory, huh? I think they just credited David Digratola twice. I think they're, they're giving the uh, SNES credits here. Oh, I see. Makes sense. Yeah, caged in the wiggle zone. <laughs> yes. Glad, glad everyone's discovering the joy of the Super Nintendo Time Cop ending. They had very little to work with, but they made the most of it. The end. The end. That's the end of Time Cop. Was it a shame that it wasn't released? Uh, not really. But it started to play the FBI song for a second. Oh shit. Did you hear that? No, I took my headphones out. Oh no. <laughs> uh, yes, these are the Mega Race people. Yeah, that's right. It's Cryo. Mm -hmm. They did a fair few things. Is it just lock here? Alright, shall Wait. we just let this play us out? Oh. He's wiggling faster! <laughs> It's like laser balls. It does lock here. Let's let's just go ahead and keep it here. Okay. So there you go. Time Cop. Shame it didn't come out on Sega CD, but the Super Nintendo one did get a North American release, so we do have that at the very least. Mm -hmm. I do recommend playing that version over this one. This is somehow a very inferior port, despite the cutscenes. The cutscenes are great. They're also kind of tragic because they reveal how much work went into the backgrounds of this game. Yeah. They weren't just CG, it was miniatures. They designed them, made them all intricate, mm -hmm. and then they just got turned into French onion soup here in this game. <laughs> we, we had French onion soup this weekend, it was really good. It was really good. Yeah. <laughs> it's on our minds. Alright y'all, so, so if you like weird Mega Drive stuff, make sure to tune in this Wednesday because our patrons voted for us to see unlicensed Sega Genesis and Mega Drive games on Wednesday. Dear God, do they even know what they've done? Do they, do they even know about all the Russian hacks that have come out in the last decade alone? The weird Mario games, the Chip and Dale ripoffs, the, uh, that's not even to say what's coming from China. I don't even want to mention it. It's, it's gonna be wild. So much weird stuff, and we're gonna suffer through it on Wednesday, so I hope you'll join us for that. It'll be a lot of fun. I'm excited. Alex, why don't you wrap us up? If you'd like to support what we do, uh, we do have a Patreon, patreon.com slash RetroPals. Pitch in five bucks a month, and you can vote for whatever we play every Wednesday, including stuff like Genesis Bootlegs. So I definitely recommend it. It's a great time had by all. And you get access to the patron zone of our Discord uh, and all kinds of good stuff. So do consider it, won't you? Um, we did discontinue the t-shirt sale, so thank you to everybody who bought that winter design. We appreciate it. We really, really do. We will have something uh, else coming out next, uh, may, not next month, but maybe the month after. Look forward to that. We're also on YouTube at youtube.com slash RetroPals. We post highlights of our streams there, and we just posted part two of our look at the Zavix. That is the part with the awful, awful fish and the diapers, so do check that out <laughs> if uh, you want to see that. Look at our thumbnail right now. It's oh, he's just wiggling it's infinitely. The wiggly guy. Yeah, good. To anyone who clicked on this stream to figure out what the wiggly guy is from, I'm sorry. It's Time Cop. It's Time Cop. 
Folks, I'm going to leave you all with the opponent who has started up Metroidvania March, a, uh, a, real, a real project if there ever was one. He's starting with the original, the first and best, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. That's right, there were no other Castlevania or Metroid games before that point. Nope. He's starting out today, he's going to do a whole bunch of them throughout the month, and I wish him luck. Mm -hmm. So go enjoy that, have a good rest of your day, and thanks for watching. See ya, folks.